Hey, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I would like to uh, uh, explain about uh, how to connect, uh, uh, I mean, the databases from our local system. So, uh, in previous uh, in previous video, I told uh, how to create databases and all the things. So, how to connect RDS databases. From local machines. So, uh, in previous video, I explained about uh, how to create databases uh, like MySQL, MSSQL, and all the things. So, before coming here, uh, uh, once go go to that previous video and uh, let's come here. So now, uh, so now we created uh, databases by in uh, AWS RDS. So let's go there. Now we can see here uh, database instances one by 20. So uh, we have created one databases, uh, which is the data called COVID information. Uh, we are the uh, processing the COVID information. That's why I given the name of the database. And this is the instance and the engine is a MySQL. So this is our databases we have created in the previous video. So now let's click on it. And so now, uh, we have seen here connectivity and security and uh, uh, this is the uh, endpoint uh, so security groups uh, configurations so they all things so this is uh, how to create uh, how to connect to this this database from our local system so let's go now to connect to connect the uh, databases from our local system uh, just uh, we will uh, we have a one tool We have a tool called SQL Workbench. SQL Workbench to connect to to connect databases from local system. Okay. Now, uh, let's uh. Workbench. Let's open it. So now let me delete this. So now uh, to connect that databases which we created here, right? A uh, database is called MySQL. So we want to uh, connect that databases uh, to from from our local system. Right. So for that, we are using the tool called SQL Workbench. So by this, we can uh, connect that. So let's see how to connect that. So first of all, let's uh, click on here and some add some uh, uh, MySQL connections. So connection name. Let's give it uh, your name and I'm giving MySQL and coming to host name. So here we can see in the AWS account, right? Uh, endpoint. Let's copy this and paste in a host name and the port name is 3306 so we can see here it is a default one and coming to password username and password i will see while creating username and password coming to username and password uh while creating the database while creating the database we have given the username and password as my user as a username and my password is password right let's enter that here my user and uh, click on test connection so it will ask for the password let's type my password Type your password. If you created or if you given the other username and other password while, while creating the database, then uh, give that username and give that password. Okay. Now let's click on okay. See, successfully uh, made the MySQL connection. So that database has been successfully connected to our local system in uh, by using the tool called SQL Workbench. Let's click on okay. Now the connection has been uh, uh, here we can see uh, it, it is successfully kind of connected. So let's click on it. Uh, so see, let me remove this. 
ओके सो नाउ लेट मी डिलीट दिस ओके नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट डेटाबेस श्री राम डीबी ओके लेट्स रन ऑन बाय क्लिकिंग दिस येलो कलर दिस सिंबल राइट लेट्स क्लिक ऑन इट नाउ बिलो वी कैन सी राइट I mean, first of all, I dropped the database, and then I created the same database as uh, by using a uh, uh, create database, and the uh, database name is Sri Ram DB. So now the database database has been created. Okay. So use Sri Ram DB. So we are writing this queries because of uh, is the uh, I mean the we have created this database by uh, in uh, AWS RDS, right? so is this working in the, our local system or uh, or not so that, that's why we are uh, creating the database and uh, creating table and inserting some data into that so uh, that uh, that is that is the uh, way we are now going to so let's run this use sriram db yes we are uh, now using now to create table and insert let's go here and uh, type create table and insert insert data mysql <clears throat> so here we can see let me copy this code create table let's run this see the table has been created now okay table has been created the table name is authors now select star from authors let me run this let me insert the data okay let's me insert the data into into the table called authors see this is this is an empty table right so that's why it was not showing anything so now let me insert some data into it run this so now uh, data has been uh, inserted into the authors table so let's run select star from a uh, table name called authors see now we can see the id name is one name is vivek and email id is something that we have given here right let me insert some more things let me run this and one let me insert another one see now let's run select star from authors so now we will get the uh, data which we have we has imported right uh, we have imported uh, three uh, details right uh, we can see here id number 1 2 3 and the names and the email id so this is the way uh, we have uh, how to uh, uh, connect the the, the 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 database from our local system right and one thing i would like to tell you that after using one second 
uh, this is the security groups Okay, where is inbound rules? Yeah, here. Go to inbound rules and edit inbound rules. See, here we have given uh, my SQL uh, port number is 3306 and custom. So let me de delete this. If I delete this my SQL uh, type and uh, port 3306, what happens? Let's see. I have deleted and save. Let's see. Is it running or not? Select star from, let me run this. <clears throat> it is not running. So why? Because I will tell you. See, it won't run because let's create one more database. Create database. Venu Sriram DB. It is not working, right? So, because I will tell you this uh, while we, uh, we are, while we have created a before, right? MySQL connection. So, this connection has been not working. See, it. Um, what will it happen? See, it is not opening because we have. Uh, because it has no no permissions to open and see can't connect to database server your connection attempt failure for uh, my user to the mysql so it is saying that there has a uh, uh, no uh, permissions to open and uh, work on it so so for this we have to give and permissions to open it right just go and uh, give permissions to that uh, connection okay add rule Where is my SQL? Yeah, here. My SQL port name is 3306. See, if you give my IP only, your computer will, uh, you can access. So let's give a custom and give any ID. So let's save rules. So this is the uh, security groups we are going to use. Uh, uh, these, are, these are the ways to use the, the security groups to give the permissions to uh, different, different ways. Let me uh, let this update. So everyone understood, right? Uh, how to create a database uh, and uh, uh, and uh, how to connect that database from our local system using SQL Workbench and uh, giving permissions and creating the one local host and so that's why uh, it it has been updated. Let me open this. See, let's enter our password. My password. Yeah, definitely it will open now because we have given the permissions, right? Yeah, now created. Let's create one more database here. Create database Apple DB. Let's run this. It is working now, right? So now everyone understood, right? Creating database. database in uh, in rds aws and creating the we have to create the database uh, in uh, aws rds and to connect that to connect that database from our local machine by using SQL Workbench. After that, uh, in SQL Workbench, in SQL Workbench, 
uh, let's create a connection so by by creating the connection you have to give a uh, different different uh, uh, host name uh, and uh, uh, username password which you have created by uh, using the uh, while creating the databases username password and then uh, let's uh, create the uh, local host uh, i mean the connection of the uh, database so after creating that uh, uh, so can I, after after creating that connection so let's run the sql queries so this is the uh, uh, way to create a rd i mean the database assigned uh, uh, these are the way to connect our database from our local system and using our sql workbench and so these are the ways to complete how to create a rds and run sql queries so if you have any questions yeah please put me in the put in the comment section i will try my level best to uh, uh give you I, I will try my level best to give you the answers thank you thank you so much